everyone, it's Emma, one of the zookeepers here at the Lincoln Children's Zoo, and you are joining us for our, oh, mid-air catch, nice job, for our very special segment, Keeper's Corner, where we bring out one of our very special animal friends for you all to meet while you are learning from home. So for today, we have Johnny, our African serval cat. Now, African serval cats are, of course, native to Africa, thank you, and they live in the same places where you would find, get out of there, you can hear. He likes to find the cookie jar just like maybe you guys do at home instead of eating those healthy snacks. And so you would find them in the same places where you would find lions and cheetahs, zebras and giraffes. That's where you would also find serval cats like Johnny. Now because of their smaller size, they are often mistaken for baby cheetahs. Because as you can see on Johnny's body, he does have these really beautiful spots all over it. But he also, if you look closely, he has these stripes too, which is a little bit unusual for a animal to have both spots and stripes on their body, but it's gonna be an excellent way for him to keep himself nice and camouflaged in the tall African grasses of the savanna. And because of his smaller size, he does have a lot more predators out there. So those predators are those lions and those African leopards, even hyenas and painted dogs. Hey buddy, come over here. Thank you. And so Johnny, despite his smaller size, they're actually one of the best wild cat hunters out of all of the cat species in the entire world. So that means that they're better than those lions, better than the super fast cheetahs, even better than the very strong tigers. Now when a serval cat is out hunting, come back this way, hey. <laughs> He's just getting a view of all of his bearings. Hey, get them. So when a serval cat is out hunting, they have a very high success rate of about 50%, which means that one out of every two tries when they are hunting, they are going to be catching something. Now, one of the reasons they are so successful is because they aren't exactly picky with the foods that they like to eat. So he'll eat anything from insects, fish, lizards, snakes, rodents, birds, you name it. He'll eat everything. And he also has a lot of really great adaptations on his body to help him be such a successful hunter. And so one of those great adaptations is those really big ears that you see on his head. So for a serval cat, they have the largest ears compared to their body size out of any cat species out there. It would be like if you all had dinner plates for the size of ears. That is how big your ears would have to be if you had the same size of ears that serval cats did. <laughs> saying hi there, buddy. And so these ears have about 22 muscles in each of them. He can turn them around, but it's great for helping him for listening for all of those tasty treats that he is going to be hunting for. And one of those tasty treats are those rodents. And so he loves to hunt for rodents and rodents like to hide underground. And so what Johnny would do, he would be listening for them as they're scurrying underground. And then he will reach his really long front paws deep into the rodent hole and pull them out. He is very successful. But those ears serve another great purpose and that is with communication. So if you look on the back side of his ears, you can see these eye spots. That is a great way to deter predators. It looks like he has eyes in the back of his head, which the parents out there, they also have eyes in the back of their head, just like a serval cat does. So kids, they can see everything that you guys are doing at home. And so serval cats, they use these eye spots to deter those larger predators that might be hunting them from behind. But for a mother serval, these ears and eye spots are a great way to communicate with their kittens that it might be following close behind. So if there were danger nearby, the serval cats would be watching for their mother's ears. As soon as those ears disappear, they know that they need to find a safe place to hide. But these ears are not only gonna be a great way for communication, protection, and for listening, but the other thing that they like to find while they're listening is Johnny's favorite, favorite treat in the entire world, and that is birds. So Johnny loves to hunt for birds. So the serval cats have the ability to jump from a seated position about 10 to 12 feet straight up into the air. And so Johnny will demonstrate that for, for you guys right now. I just have to find my little bird. Come on, John, let's find it. Where did I put it? Oh, it's back here. Come here. John, come on. Thank you. All right. We'll see if Johnny wants to hunt for our bird this morning or this afternoon. Oh, good job, buddy. So a very, very successful jump. He was, of course, very successful in getting that bird today. And so as you can see, Johnny was able to jump from that seated position about 10 to 12 feet straight up into the air. 
Now the next time he jumps, I want you guys to watch his tail because his tail is a little bit shorter than a typical cat's tail would be. It's not as short as a bobcat's tail, but it's definitely not as long as a tiger's tail. So when he's jumping, his tail doesn't get tangled up in his body. So he's able to land perfectly on his feet. You guys probably want to see it again. So we'll do it one more time for you all. Let's see, John. Good job. And then he gets his nice tasty treat. So here at the zoo, we don't ever force our animals to do anything that they don't want to. So Johnny is trained all via positive reinforcement, which means that when he does something that I like him to do, such as, let's see, John, come here. Can you sit? Oh, he has to be saying, yeah, here you go, sit. He gets a very tasty treat, which is pretty cool. But I do have enough snacks to do one more jump. Let's do it one more time. I know Johnny will be successful. That was pretty high. Good job, buddy. So this is Johnny, our African serval cat. Make sure to stay tuned for the very special activity following the video. And we'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.